play as of late, and he does have a full set to play with here in Grand Finals, so we'll have to see if this DLC FP2 character yes. is going to be the X Factor that Dexter needs. Indeed. Good roll from Dexter trying to get out there. Something interesting about this matchup is Pick is a lot off grab, and Mithra is going to uh, have slower dodges to grabs because of Foresight. Foresight does not go through grab. Oh. Yep. Well, that is true. Yeah, I get that. Platform does get hit with that up tilt, but Dex could not quite extend the combo. Pit, the, the part that I've seen Pit always struggle with in this matchup is just landing. Even with Orbiters, Mithra's so fast. How does he get down? Yeah, that, that is a, a very, very good point. Like, I, I can't imagine that this is a fun matchup for Pit. Good God. Yeah, Mithra must be miserable. All right, the power switch is on board now. Dex are just trying to end it there with that down air. Fourth throw, that fourth throw is actually surprisingly strong. And then just watching Pit try to recover. And watching just Pit recover with a side B. No reaction from <laughs> Dex. Just taking it. Right on the chin. Oh, no. Uh oh. I thought that he was about to get a down air. Is there nothing? Okay. Okay, there we go. I was about to say. I was sitting there was like, is there nothing this character can do about orbiters? It turns out up air beats orbiters. Yes. <laughs> Answer immediately. Oh, this is a really bad spot for Mithra. Really, really bad spot. Barely misses the arrow on that double jump. That would have taken it. That jump a little bit errant right now. So Dexter off stage. Arrow doesn't intercept and no two frame opportunity here. Jumping from edge though. This should be an easy punish. Yes, yes it should be. It should be it. Rinse and retreat. Now you're just dead here. Yep. Doesn't even need to go in and toss out another arrow. So now we're going to need to see quite a bit here from Dex to make this comeback. I feel like that's kind of one of the weaknesses of Mithra Agreed. as a character is that this character just does no damage. So when you're down this much, you're going to be clipped if you're not perfect with your new game. Agreed, agreed. And because you everyone has to take the initiative of her. Seeing a lot more power here at the ledge, though. Pit really struggles to get past these hitboxes. Oh my gosh, he couldn't even run away from that down air. All good. Combo's on point there, down tilt up air. Good spot dodge too, but now we're starting to see the, the problem with Pyra is that this character's a little bit too slow to capitalize. Agreed. Pitt's actually gonna have the mobility advantage here, but that down air is just absurd. That hitbox is nuts. Yes, it is nuts. So you're that talking down about- down air is absurd. Is absurd, the hitbox is nuts, and evening of the game. Real talk, it's, it's just Pitt's down air too. It has a really similar, like, just the yes. arc definitely below him, but uh, Pit could never. No, just <laughs> massive Pit down air. Imagine if Pit actually had a sword. All right, Dexter, evening it up slowly but surely. Yeah, 5 to 10% at a time right here. If it works, it's all you need. These or orbiters are not looking good in this matchup. No, they, no, because even when you... Do them, the just swings again. The lead has vanished. So now Pyra out for blood, just needs this one strong hit. To go ahead and end it. Back to another edge trap here as Glory recovers and actually Dex gets the tech. Good tech from Dex. Might that saved him so much. Necessary. Oh no, that was an edge. That was missing play, absolutely. Good recovery there. I think that's it. Nope. Uh, too, high, too much percent, actually. Will Dex make this comeback? It's very... just, he just tossed it out them big old hitboxes. One of them will work. Yeah, one They're of them also work. safe, by the way. Wow, what a hard fought comeback from Dex. Really, really well played. Yeah, that was a. That was a brutal one right there for Glory, because yes, you got the early stock, mm -hmm. and you figure, okay, now I have a lead, I can play a little bit more defensively, right. but you saw how bad the matchup looks. Yes. The Orbiters were neutralized time and time again, and then Mithra was just an overwhelming force in neutral. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mithra was just over, like we like I was talking about earlier, when Mithra's overwhelming neutral, overwhelming when you're trying to land, too. That's the other hard part. It's just really, really tough, because you Orbiters, and then you just get trapped anyway. 
It does look as though the record here does favor Dexter in the last four matches. Dex has won every single one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So this could very well be a bit of a difficult spot here for Glory, trying to go ahead and make the comeback against the counterpick character. Yes, indeed, indeed. So we have some nice Xenoblade music out here. Appreciate that very much. Oh, yeah, definitely the music counterpicks. It isn't the, uh, what is it, 85 meters nonsense that we were dealing yes, with before. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good angle there from Gloria trying to avoid that two frame. <laughs> the neutral layer for neutral layer. Oh, these characters really do have quite a few hitboxes that yes. are like very, very similar. Very similar yeah, I didn't even think about Mithra's that. Except is just better. Good DI there, Glory. Up and in to make sure that he didn't get uh, down tilt too uh, F smashed. Like even their dash attacks are really similar too. Yes, they are. I didn't realize how similar these characters were in terms of hitboxes. Uh, this is this is a homework copying character. Let me see knows. them notes real quick here. Sure. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. I think you're still dead. Yeah, there's no drift at the end of that. Yep. Good edge guard there from Glory. That's that's what Pit has in this matchup though. That is the one saving grace. This is another saving grace that Pyra has, yes, though. It's it like is. all from the Angel <laughs> platform with a big hitbox. Surely this will kill. Max damage combo right there from Dex and yes. gets the two frame, too. But Glory really good in these DIs and these two frames, up and in, making sure to not get down to that smash. Forcing either an up smash or just another aerial. Falling out of the jab. That's Why so is cool. it that Pit's multi hits don't work, and I've never seen anybody fall out of anything that Mithra has for multi hits? Sakurai might just hate this character. I think it's weird because he <laughs> even developed Pit's game. Well, I mean, how many of the uh, Kirby cast characters are good in this one? That's true. I didn't think about that. Didn't Sakurai voice D3? He did. He also developed help with those games, too. Mm -hmm. So maybe just Sakurai, he gives his hardest challenges to his favorite children. <laughs> No up be out of shield. Instead, just a platform drop up till such an interesting option from Dex. Indeed. And boy, did it pay off. I think that's it. Yep, yep. It's just air dodge too low. Yeah, that's definitely one of those where I, I mentioned this last week, I think, when we commentated too. I have never seen Dexter use the down B as a um, as a air dodge. Yes, he needs to start doing that, frankly. If I'm Pit, I'm just going over into ledge and just... Yeah, exactly. I'll take the corner. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I know your edge trapping is good, but anything to get me the hell out of here. Oh my gosh. That's just trying to end it there. No double jump, no double jump. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, just the aggressive up B, I dig that. It's I quick enough that so that Dexter, um, Dexter can make it back before Glory can react to it. Exactly. So back to a last stock, last hit situation right here. Same as the last one here, where Dex is just going to toss out these safe aerials until Glory is going to have to find a way through this hitbox barrage. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Oh, no. I wouldn't Providence oh, game. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate teleport to the blast zone. I like the idea from Dexter, but ever so slightly off. No, Dexter, uh, Glory actually had, had it covered. Dexter was just trying to pull a little too back to avoid it and just... Ah, I see. There was no, no... Couldn't pull back any further than he did. So. Yeah, he pulled back, back plenty. That's for yes, dang sure. That's for sure. Just using your character to body block your opponent is one of those, like, big brain options. Yes, it really is. Like, some characters like Krom, you can't do that to Krom. But Pithra, thank God. Yes. If Pithra's upbeat... Dra or Mit Pyra specifically, if Pyra's upbeat drag the opponent down, this might be the best character in the game. Oh, easily. I know. I agree. They made sure to not have that happen. Thank time. God. Thank yes, God. Thanks, Sakurai, for that one thing. I that agree. one thing about this character. All right, we have All Bastion. I don't think we've seen a stage all night. It's definitely one of my favorite stages to play on, actually. Yeah, I think this is a really interesting stage. In I stages. agree. It's like a lot of characters like it for completely different reasons. Agree. And it's actually very different from Smash Hill, I'm being, too. 100% agree on you there, right there. Like Smashville, I do want another small stage though for Smashville. Agreed. I, I don't like how if, if you ban Smashville, there are no like tiny stages left. Agreed. I, I 100% agree there. But this stage is like nice mid-side stage where um, it just feels very neutral, frankly. True. That's why what we need is if we need another counter pick, small stage, unbanned castle stage. 
I actually agree. Oh my god, another another believer. <laughs> There's so few. Every time I every time I say that, my co-commentator usually looks at me like I'm a match. No. It has issues, but it's definitely the best of the small ones that are left. Uh oh. Okay, good saving your dogs up there, Dexter. Up throw two to go ahead and extend the combo and again exploit Pitt's inability to come down. The yes. strength of juggling started to do very well for Dex in this game. Rolls in and immediately into the down smash on that tech situation. Glory trying to go ahead and get the dash grab, but ever so slightly off. Definitely had the right read, just not quite the perfect execution. No double jump. It's just it. No recognition either. We didn't switch over to Mithra. No, yeah, exactly. This feels like the opposite match, that, or kind of like a continuation of the match that Glory just played. Where it's like, yeah, I'm kind of going to lose if we have to play neutral, but um, if I get you off stage, though, you just die. Exactly. That's how you, I frankly think that if you can play up against Pyramithra, you should be playing up against Pyramithra. You just treat it like a two and a half stock game. Yeah, th this is definitely one of those characters like Sheik, where they're going to hit you a million times. You just kind of have to deal with it. Exactly. Like, yeah, that's just what the character does. Yep. Take the edge, don't get greedy, and then eventually you'll get a chance to play the game if they make a mistake. Which they have to eventually. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for them not to. It usually comes when they're trying to get the kills. Exactly. Ooh, very interesting option from Dexter. I respect it, though. That Orbiters again, and Glory reacting viscerally to that one. He was definitely speaking to a few folks right there. Yes, he afterwards. was. And I don't think we can uh, sub that one. No, we cannot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting caught right there with the neutral air. Double jump expended. Oh, neutral air dodge missing. ever so slightly off. Great drift from Dex. Slowly racking up this extra credit here, Dexter is. You know, I'm honestly might want to play as Pyrite in these, in these high percentage situations. I agree. I just feel like tossing out the big hitboxes is so low risk against Glory's pit. Yes. And in is. this spot, it's like, yeah, you can go ahead and get like better neutral in general, but if you make a mistake, you're just dead. With Pyrite, it's like I hit the down air and drift away. There is no mistake to be made. Exactly. Bigger moves, and you have the lead, so you can just actually play like a real sortie. Yeah, like a real sortie. Exactly. Wow, what an aggressive option from Dexter. But really getting him out of that very precarious situation. Down throw into the board air. It looked like in that position. Now Pyra on deck, trying for the kill in the corner. Doesn't get the jump out. And now... Catch. That was aggressive from Dex. Oh my gosh, Pyra being so thin. She killed that combo. You're dead? Oh, wow. You're dead. Switch, please, Dexter. I'm begging you. Get the switch. No. He's got to learn to switch. He has to learn to switch. A hundred percent. That's one of those spots where in two positions, either just doing it as an air dodge yep. or putting it, just swapping to Mythos so you have access to the side B. Yeah. Or a little better drift on the up B. Mm -hmm. But both of those times, Dex is still thinking as though he's playing one character. You have to go ahead and use this, similar to Pokemon Trainer. You yes. can't be a Squirtle main. You have to be a PT player. That's correct, exactly. That happens a lot of these multi-character characters, like PT, Pyramithra. I will only have those two, but both of them, ha those mains, mains of those characters tend to have that problem where they just prefer one or the other. They have to learn to be play as one. Yep, they have to have the fluidity to go yes. ahead and swap between the two immediately. Just Indeed. recognizing this situation calls for this character. Yep. Instead of thinking, I am at high percentages, or I'm at, they're at high percentages, so I go for the character that kills. Right. Because there are other options there. Now, I've seen Cosmos actually go on Pyrite low percentages. It's just because they have actually decided. Exactly. Uh oh. There's no double jump here, so we have to side B immediately. Oh, he should have just jumped over that. There was no way for Dex to be high enough. Great grab in that position right there. Going to go ahead and get a good bit of damage. And then the Pyra and the medium Mithra swap. Just saying, hey, I want to toss out an up air. Oh, wait, no, I can't here. Whoa, what was that? I've never seen that before. Yeah, it, I think it was like a ledge cancel. Attempt. It looks like a ledge cancel thing, yeah. Yeah. Same pit mains in the chat who know what that was, let me know. All three of them in the world. 
Yeah, this is definitely a character that we do not see typically at this late in bracket, but there's no double jump. That's it. That's it. Yeah, Glory showing us that he belongs in Grand Finals. That's right. I do believe the Glory's won his Andu before, too. So. He has won his Andu before. Over Pink Fresh. That's correct. He's won a couple over Pink Fresh, I think. Yeah, they're actually 6-6, six and six, so they have an even record. Yep. Crazy. Oh, it's probably... Oh, good uh, Glory, but just keeping this going and going. No oh, bad DI there in that back air. I mean, I wouldn't have been ready to do that one to That's survive fair. in that spot, That's too. Fair. It's like, oh, the, the weak hit or the late hit of back air randomly killed me at 120. Huh. <laughs> Must ju just mit Pithra things. It's crazy, because we were talking about how Mithra's damage output is pretty low, but it feels like Gloria has hit Dexter so many times, and there's only 47% on the board. Yeah, both characters have a little bit of the, the sheet guidance there, just yes. low damage output per move. Great empty short hop right there. Typically, you don't see these slower characters like Pit get away with that too much. Yes. Good hold on the Orbiters, too. We like You talked about it earlier, how Gloria just knows to hold it in spots where a lot of Pit mains would drop it. That's it. Dexter on the last stock here of this first set in Grand Finals. We may very well see the reset here if Glory keeps playing this well. It feels as though the, the Aegis was good for game one, but not so much for the rest of the set. I really like those little neutral air one-hit ones that reverse people back onto the ledge that Glory's been doing. And Glory just doing a lot of, I'm there first against Pyra, because Pyra's moves are so slow. Uh -oh. the double jump, and again, no swap into the interception. Yep. Wow. Yeah, 3-1 in set one for Glory. Aegis won game one, and then never again. And that last one, it did not look particularly close. I would not be surprised if the space animal comes out here. Agreed. That's exactly what I was going to say. Wolf is probably flying in right now, so to speak. Back to PS2. Smashville for game one of set two. That means the wolf is probably coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Dexter loves the Sage's wolf. Oftentimes banned against him. Because it just becomes, oh, I get a back through at 30. Oh, now it's uh, ledge yes. trapping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I went there one time against him. Never again. I never got a chance. I, I think this is K Rule's best stage. I went K Rule wolf once on this. I'm just like, never again. Yes. Get me the heck out. <laughs> All right. Starting off now. If, uh,. Curious to see how Dexter what changes here. So far, we are seeing the traditional Dexter Wolf, which is perfectly positioned forward airs, and then threatening the edge traps in two frames. A healthy diet of these disjoints, actually throwing pit for a loop. Ooh, had that read in the roll in there, just barely missed the execution though. Good high up for side B. Interesting delay right there. That Dex didn't feel like he was ready to, or didn't know if Pit had crossed him up or not in that position, so he was reluctant to go for the grab. Still has the double jump in this spot, but just going to go aggressive with Wolf Flash, and the down smash actually hits with the back hit, so not going to knock him away. Oh, so good from Glory to jump above that. Oh my gosh. Glory, Glory kind of cooking all of a sudden. He is hooking. The stage playing against Dexter. Dexter actually struggling to land here. Actually, beep, the beep is for now. Uh, I, I will. I have stopped being surprised at the number of things Wolf back air beats. You know what? I should. I should. <laughs> it's one of those where like it's like maybe I'll be shocked if it beats like a cloud back air, but right. I, it barely. Oh, no jump. No jump. Perhaps not a recognition there from Glory because it felt like Glory like faded back to hit trap instead of yes. overextend. That just can't land in this spot. No, it cannot. It's just too, stage too small. Oh. Oh, no. no, no. The, the traditional Dexter classic of just minor misinputs off stage into SDs and brutal spots. Yes. Glory really feeling himself right now. Oh, he actually got through that up air string. I really thought Dexter was going to connect right there, but instead it was Glory. 
Oh, he's just in the right spot at the right time so often. Gloria is. His timing is actually really impeccable right now, just all of his options. Yeah, he's just with punishing Dexter so well. This is not a character that's typically easy to do. No, agreed. The grab again, like that was there was another back here coming out. I saw the future on that one. Yes. And I thought that Glory was dead. That's it. Yep. Wow. Yeah, little tip for folks looking to improve their wolf win rates. That move, the hurt box travels before the hitbox. Mm -hmm. So if you have any kind of disjoint, you can challenge it. Glory definitely knew that. That's correct. Yeah, I, I, him. I have uh, beaten that out before with Mario Neutral. Like, <laughs> I, I feel so smart right now. <laughs> so yeah, Glory, very brave to go ahead and challenge that because I, I have seen Glory challenge it once or twice and he's gotten unlucky and just died. And just died because that move with the neutral layer of hit is not continuous. No, it's not. So there are little gaps right there and every now and then Dex will find one of those gaps and just kill you at zero with the side beat. But definitely the correct option going off stage when you have that full stop lead. All right, for some reason somebody picked a uh, song from Platoon, but... Muck Warfare. I don't think I've ever heard this song before. I don't think I've ever heard it either. I play this game a lot. So far, Glory on a four-game win streak against Dex. Let's see if that continues. Indeed. Good DI from Glory. Again, just fading out. Glory trying everything he can to make sure he doesn't have to up B into a down smash. Because that's ah, going to be a big issue that in this matchup. If he gets sent too far, just dead at 60. Yes. Down here, cut through the platform too, interrupting whatever shenanigans Dexter was trying to set up. If I'm Dexter, I'm trying to get aware that Glory is not going to upbeat a legend and just straight jump there, and I'm going to jump for it. Yep. He waited. Yeah, you called it out. That's the deck special. Just a little bit of patience goes a long way in those situations under the platform. All right, so now Dexter looking to widen this lead right here, just about lapping glory in percentage. I am... Uh, this has been a bit of a change of pace. It feels like Dexter may have needed that one game because he's not treating Wolf like Aegis. Like his Aegis, he was being really aggressive, tossing yes. out a ton of four days. That's exactly what we saw at the start of the Grand Finals reset, that he just came out swinging and Glory just like, bet, I'm going to fade back. Exactly, and then just he took it over and over. And I think Smashville actually worked against him, but this age with a little more space, just a little more space, is working a lot better because he can actually fade back. And now a two-stock lead, and you have to wonder, it's like, how did Glory make that look so easy game one? I know, right? Finds a forward air off the ledge, but still, this is a rough spot. And again, these fadebacks like you talked about. And now he's starting to toss out the uh, the, the neutral B. That gun is going to be a big game changer if he can start to reliably punish Glory's dash-ins. Indeed. Well, we can't DI it down. Can't DI in that. Always just DI out and down throw. Mm -hmm. It's just a mix-up. It it's just it's a mix -up, never yeah. true. Yeah. Or at least not a kill percent. Yes. Oh, you said the blaster coming out now. Ooh, good side B, but. This has kind of been a solid stock from Glory, though. Dexter does manage to land, and that's usually a recipe for disaster here. Is now Glory in a bit of an awkward position. Dexter trying to go ahead and open up with one of these weak hit neutral airs. No double jump. Dead, yeah. Good call out. Oh my gosh, that crab actually missed. A little bit of a gimmer tech, and I think that that was purposeful right there. Okay. Yeah, I think so too, actually. You're right. Actually, just use it to jump away and get the edge for free. Yep. Knew it. Yeah, we talked about earlier, Dexter just has to know that Glory's not going to not gonna be. He's going to try and jump over onto an over ledge, basically, because he doesn't want to get down smash. Yeah, and Glory right there is definitely going for a little bit of that planking mix-up yes, that yes. he's been getting away with for quite a while. And Dexter just time, he was at roll distance. He's like, I don't have to worry about the hitboxes, so you just go ahead and spend all of your jumps indeed, hopping indeed. in place. I got them boots. They're going to be waiting. <laughs> waiting they were indeed. I've also, I've been kind of like cracking up at this. Both players always take a minute directly after the game to adjust their glasses. Yes, that's true. <laughs> it's like two or three true. times in a row. It's like they win. It's like, all right, now we get the adjustment period. Now we're going back in. <laughs> all right, 
FD. Interesting. I wonder what the purpose of this stage is. Do you have any ideas? Uh, if I'm Glory, I think that I'm recognizing that the biggest strength that I have in this matchup is that Dexter has a hard time landing mm. if you can toss him up. So perhaps just trying to min-max that right here. That makes sense. The problem is that Dexter has also got a pretty solid uh, juggle game. Yeah, may not be as thinking. good as Pitts, but uh, definitely worth exploiting. Nice push punch again. Dexter keeps DIing in on these down throws, which to be fair, at that percent makes sense, but. Also, the characters with five jumps really feel like they love Final D because they can just exploit their verticality. That it's makes really sense. hard for people to like catch Pit when he decides to like triple jump up on the stage. Oh, missing that angle. I, I mean, I hate to look for correlation here and when we've only had two games, but it does feel as though when Dexter suicides, um, he, it's a hard match for him. <laughs> Agreed. Throwing away a stock may not be a recipe for success. Maybe it is, though, because that backer sure going to take it. I kid, I kid. I mean, I'm, I, I had to take a minute. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, only 11% here. I, I've been chastised. Dexter is out here trying to show that he, that he gives away that stock for free because he's a very charitable man. <laughs> Good fake out there from Glory with his uh, Corporators. Neutral layer to Rapid Jab for a solid damage. Indeed. <laughs> Just beating out Pit Neutral Air. That back air from Glory had to be a missing play. It's crazy to me that you can parry that move and it's got so much hit stun, like you're in parry animation for so, so long. Yes. That you just can't do a dang thing about it. Nice and glory, just DIing away, going to ledge, not getting hit there. Oh my gosh, Wolf pancaked under the, the pit up snatch. Just waiting again. He actually flashed the reflector there too, so I'm digging that option. Yep. Waiting for the glory to swing. Yep, exactly. Glory getting a little antsy here. Oh, great oh, charge right there. I think he had the right idea, but Dex able to get the shield up in time is a little bit too slow. Yeah, right idea, wrong execution, unfortunately. Toss off stage yet again. Dex are setting up for another lead trap and potentially trying to go ahead and go low with that back air. That was a very optimistic back air. That was, I wanted the game to be over now, <laughs> back air. Indeed. With this rage, back air does kill. Dex knows just as well as I do as he's tossing them out. That's true. I think about that. Point blank range with the neutral B, and so far unable to make too much out of it, though. Here's again protecting yep. Pit, and the dash attack yet again catching Glory. So reluctant to get two frame that instead he's been getting hit in the teeth. Every time, yes been three times now, like the last three of six stocks have been just that dash tag. So there was an interesting question in chat here between the games saying that the idea that Pit is honest is propaganda. Interesting. What do you interesting. think about that? So I think after the buffs, I tend to agree somewhat yeah. because um, the Orbiter buffs really did make it so that being able to block in the air is not frankly honest. Yes. Yes. But the rest of the character is. Yeah, the character definitely feels like... That one thing, it's like it's it's, it's a new, it's a disadvantage skip. Yes. If you have if you have any kind of skips, if you skip neutral, the combo game, or the disadvantage state, then you're not on. Right. And now he's got a disadvantage skip. That's Orders right. has been really tuned up. Yes, it has. Like but, other than that, if you get hit by pit, it's your own damn fault. Right. Right. Because he doesn't have any way to like get in other than like crossing you up with the aerials. Correct. But uh, but yeah, orbiters are orbiters are enough to make this character a little bit dishonest. I agree. Little. I agree. So whoever said that in chat, I agree with you. But you next time. Right, Dexter yet again getting crossed up with that pit neutral air. Safe enough on shield to make it hard to punish. Ooh, a nice reverse neutral air to put Dexter back on stage. Just a little projectile war here going on. <laughs> yeah, both players tossing out, but I feel like Wolf is going to go ahead and get the advantage right there. Yes. Shine having that frame one activation, plus the fact that uh, Laser does a little bit more damage than Arrows. Yes.
Dexter trying to get that back here there, but missing it because he lands on the platform. That's unfortunate. He had the right read. Awesome off stage yet again here, but Dexter unable to get a ledge trap going. The B reverse off platform of the neutral B. Interesting option. Definitely caught me and Glory off. Yes. Oh, Dexter doing the. He loves to do that. Sometimes he'll just jump into me air dodge down. Got him off ledge there. You see it for like once or twice a game. I mean, it's that. It's definitely just a mix up. It's a big, yes. big mix up. Ooh, good four throw. We'll take it. Can we get a game five? This has been a very fun set to watch. I hope we do. Is that like a little like edge cancel with the aerial? He immediately slid off. I and think then, it like, is. That's we an should, interesting option. We should ask him about it. Oh, wow. Dexter slightly delaying the up smash, knowing that it wasn't true, but that if he just waited, there's a good chance he drops you. Though. Yes. That's unfortunate for Blurry. Solid damage out of that, and now we're at that lovely like forward air into forward air into forward air string yes. percentage from Dex. I know this is only for a lot of up throws. It makes sense because the forces pit to either go to ledge or just land, and it's not. Pit has been struggling to land. Glory hasn't struggled to land here. Yes. Neutral air is disjointed enough to beat arrows. That is crazy. Yes. Both neutral air is like unreasonably disjointed. I agree. Real talk, do you think that Glory has been a little bit too afraid of getting two frame with the I think he has been, yes. Because we saw it right there, yeah. The reason why I think to that is because you can actually have a lot of mix-ups in the timing with the upbeat. Um, as long as you're not far away. Well, if you're too far away, yes, you're, it's over. But, ooh, speaking of over, that up snatch will end that stock. Potentially the last stock here for Glory. we got to go ahead and make something happen. Wolf off state has to go ahead and shine. And then uses the upbeat. I don't think we have enough distance on that side. No, not sure. enough at all. So, 0-0, zero, zero, last stock. Glory not allowing Dexter to build any kind of a lead right here. So, this is anybody's uh -oh. game. Can we get a game five here? I'm very, I think we can. I think we can. Look at the damage right there. That's 44 so out of the damage. rapid jab. <laughs> Trade with the intangible projectile of this neutral B for Wolf. Regrab there. Does it in a different way, though, at least. Yeah, with the side B, I think Wolf was like pushed too far back to get anything going there. He was, yes. Uh oh, no, why? Glory was maybe ever so slightly off. Like, he had the right idea going off stage to challenge that, but if you're gonna challenge it, make sure you get your feet set on your Yes, game. indeed. Oh, that's a heartbreaking way to see it go, but still a fantastic run to so many players today. To Glory, to um, K24. IRLC. IRLC, yes. Mm -hmm. Knocking down a couple of our PR players like Pink Fresh significantly earlier than we would have thought, yes. as well as Squid Plumber making yes. the early exit. Also, good run to Just Woo as well. True. Yeah, this was definitely a matchup where we saw a ton of brackets be upset. Yes. With folks like Boat dropping early, folks like Squid Plumber dropping early, mm -hmm. K24 surging yes. at the top of the bracket. I mean, what more can you ask for exactly. than a, ending your week with an exclamation point as we saw a ton of phenomenal matches tonight. Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. This was one of my favorite brackets uh, watch, actually, yeah. yeah it's been yeah. a fun one. This, has this is one of those where it's basically just like, oh, we, we got nothing to do. We yeah. just get to sit back and be like, yeah, these matches are good, good. as hell. Yeah, these are good matches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so y'all, I think that's unfortunately going to be it for us, but mm -hmm. if you're looking for some more Smash action, we're going to be back on Sunday with extra credit, but tomorrow, Hitfall 2.5, some Rivals action is yes. going to be streamed live from the BGBC and KML Twitch channels. In addition, we'll be back on Tuesday for Smash at Xanadu, Wednesday for uh, FGC, Thursday for Melee, and Friday, next Friday, yet again, we'll be have the grind. All right. So it has been a pleasure, as Indeed. always. Always fun to cast always with you. Always fun to cast you too, yes. And y'all, hope you enjoyed the content. And if you did, hit us up with a sub. If not, well, catch you next time. All right, you have a good one, all.